so here I am getting ready to start my newest run, getting ready for the DLC. Um, mostly doing this for my friend, but figured I'd put it up on to YouTube as well, and I'm going to be doing what I'm calling the John Elden Ring build. I'm going to be doing a very, very basic build to get ready and just have a lot of fun with the DLC. Now, one of the biggest things, uh, one of the biggest style. Uh, differences I'm doing compared to a normal run is that I am going to be doing a region locked run. Uh, with that, that means I won't be leaving any area until I've defeated every boss in the area. I will be stuck to that area. This is to uh, make sure I explore everything and also uh, stop some of my bad habits of like running towards the end to just finish up my build and get free souls. Because of that, you'll see I have up here, I do have a little mod that gives me a boss list of everyone I can tick off as I kill them. Now that being said, I'm going to jump into here and start us off. Now, uh, as I said, I'm kind of going for a very basic build for this, and normally I'd go for a quality build, but uh, as an Elden Ring, quality builds aren't the strongest. I'm going to instead be going for a mostly strength build using very basic weaponry, um, though I'm going to have a couple different weapon choices that I use and can switch between. Um, luckily, I start with one of the weapons I want right here. Uh, Longsword is one of the weapons I'm just going to be keeping throughout this entire game. Oh, um, something I will change really quick is I will move these two things up a little. Do bear with me, I haven't recorded in quite a while. Um... So that should be where I want it to be. That way you can see my soul count and stuff when it's there. But yes, haven't recorded in a while, but figured I'd just throw it up there, especially because my friend wants to see this run through anyways. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the weapons I'm planning on using is uh, I'll have a spear ready, a great sword, and then dual long swords, as well as a kite shield. Doubt I'm gonna beat this guy, but okay. Honestly, didn't expect to get that parry. Yeah, I'm not gonna beat him. Not oh, there it is. Yep. <laughs> he always has way more range than I expect, and I never go in and fight him. So. Uh, until you fight him after you can return and then you destroy him, so. But yes, yeah, since we are doing this region locked run, I will, uh, I do want to, uh, clarify something. I do am counting, uh, the Weaving Peninsula as part of Limgrave as it, all of those bonfires are also, uh, counted under Limgrave. So I can go down there, but um, as I'm doing this region locked run and I can't leave until I get all the bosses, that does count Soldier of uh, God Rick right here. <laughs> so I'll be going through here. Don't really need to fight these guys. Yes, I'm quite well aware of uh, all that. I don't need the tutorials. Um, so yeah, we'll just be starting with Soldier of Godric here, uh, and be going through everything. Because, uh, one of the things I normally do with runs, well, let's just X at him really quick, is, um, I usually, like, go all the way up to, um, the Dragon Barrow and kill, uh, 
Grey Roll, the Mother Dragon, with a bleed weapon to get the 70,000 souls to start, but that can kind of, you know, make you really strong for the beginning game, and so I'm doing this little fun challenge. Um, I'll probably be posting some other challenge runs once this is over, because I, I love them. I did a whole bunch of them for Dark Souls 3. Um, like, I'll probably be doing an, uh, rune level 1 run at some point. Okay, let's just get this backstab. Oh! He, uh, had his invincibility frame still. Really? Ah, it was way too many hits to take against him. <laughs> okay, so because of that... Oh! I didn't even realize that the mod did that, where it auto-counted them. Okay. I thought I was going to have to go up there and uh, personally press all of those. Ooh, that's some lag. Can we not uh, have that, please? <laughs> okay. Okay. Also, I went the Vagabond because uh, originally, like I said, I was going to do the quality run, and they have the highest, uh, they have, uh, pretty similar strength and dex, but I just realized that I'm not doing that anymore. So, let's look at my stats. Uh, I need 14 dex for all of the weapons I want, so, I mean, this is still a fine starting class, that means I only have to level up dex once. So that works. Now here is one of my favorite moments of this game, especially just for your first run through, is the opening up and walk out into this world. God, this is... It is a magical game. My first run through I streamed a little bit of, but this, this right here, this view, walking out, seeing the church over there, Storm Vale up on the cliff, knowing... Now, you don't even know the first time you come through, but now knowing that everything you see is something you can go to, it there's just not many moments like that in gaming for me, and it's something I always love about From Software games. Seeing the Erd tree there out in the distance, knowing that eventually you'll be making it there, it's it's a great moment. It's one of my favorite moments of the game. Okay, you know what? I didn't... I should have known that was going to hit me. Let's fight him. Even if... Poorly. Oh. I kind of expected that to hit him. Okay. Let's just go for jumping attacks. And charged heavies break his stance. I didn't mean to just switch between my weapons multiple times there. Okay, I'm out of stamina, which I'm not happy about. Okay. As this fight is not going that well, but... This should break his guard, yep. Then go for a heavy charge and a jump. Go for another jump there. Regain some stamina, go for a heavy charged. Nope, that's gonna hit. Probably gonna lose this first fight because I messed up the start. Yep, there. I messed up that dodge.
Yeah, that was just me messing up the fight. I'm going to have to come back and kill him anyways, so might as well kill him now, though. Yeah. This is also this is supposed to be a challenge anyways, so... Gotta be a true souls veteran here and fight the first boss I see, even if I'm not strong enough for it. And like I said, hey, you're, it's really not that difficult. Oh! I actually thought I had dodged that one. Okay, go for a charged heavy. And to a jump attack. I timed that too early. Okay, let's just S this up. Jump attack. Shouldn't have gone for a full charged heavy there. Okay, should stun him, yep. Go for a charged heavy into a jump attack. Uh, let's go for a normal heavy. Into a jump. Into another jump. Shouldn't have gone for that. Go for a jump. Should probably break his guard soon. Yep. Charged heavy. Into a jump attack. Ooh. Messed up my final dodge there. That, uh, that shield bash always gets me. I always think you can dodge earlier than you can, and it catches me on the roll catch. Which I'm pretty sure is how they designed it. A lot of the uh, attacks in this game are designed for people who are used to like older Dark Souls games and their timings. So you have a lot of uh, wind-ups that are longer than you'd be used to in other games. Should uh, be breaking his guard soon. He should go for a follow up, but I'm surprised I haven't broke his guard. I guess I just haven't been aggressive enough. Yep, there it is. Ah, again. Just a little late. I jumped into that. Now I'm just getting sloppy. <laughs> That, that's all that is, is I'm getting sloppy. It's fine. This is like my second run through since the DLC got announced because I just, it, it's been a while. I took a pretty big break, but now I'm back on, on the Elden Ring grind. I love this game, so. Go for a charge and miss your charge, Tabby, because I messed up my spacing. Spacing really is not the best right now. That's fine. Yeah, when you get charged heavies, 
in the in, in there. Hey, you you break guard a lot faster. The charged heavies are so much better than jump attacks. And jump attacks are already good. This should go. Yep, I should be fine. I should be able to go for a second one and then another charged heavy. Okay, but problem is I'm out of stamina. Yep, let's just regen a little bit of that stamina. I should be able to go for a charged heavy here. Another one here. Yep, okay. Yep, I did that way too early. He's gonna hit me. Yep. I was stuck in a charged heavy there, and I just shouldn't have drank up Estus there. Bad spacing. Okay, this is a bad place to be, because I'm... My camera is getting all messed up. <laughs> okay, this should stun him, and that's enough. Far too close again, but hey. Also, fair warning, I'm not going to be doing much editing. I'm not in the mood for a lot of editing. So it's mostly just going to be a straight playthrough. Well, that's two of the 19 in Lindgrave. I believe it's 19. Um... Where is... I, I literally looked up where, like, all the weapons I want are before starting, and I already forget them, and I also didn't rest at the bonfire. Okay. <laughs> Off to a great start. Yeah, great messy start. <laughs> um, let's just go get Torrent. Um... I know where I can get my other the second longsword I want, but um, one problem with that is uh, that's in the round table hold, which I would have to leave the region to get access to, or beat Morgat, uh, Morgat, which I was hoping not to. Okay, D just we're just gonna ignore what my HP is at and um, act like I'm perfectly fine and dodge that. Grabbing this whetstone here because since I'm going strength build, I'll be changing most of my affinities to heavy. And let's leave and go this way. We'll just come get the grace over here. All right. Let's speak with Melina, get Torrent. Have you heard a serve that you already by turning the wounds into AG food to the foot of the earth? Yep, then I accept. Me. Now I I'm not maidenless. <laughs> he that will summon Torrent to treat him with. Okay, I like to replace the up arrow here with it. So. Like I said, um, the one, one of the weapons I want is going to be, um, in the round table hold. I do know the other two weapons I want should be here in Limgrave so I can go grab them, but I don't remember exactly where. 
It also doesn't matter if I change the heavy scaling just yet because, well, um, it's not like I have high strength to really get too much from the scaling right now. So, to start off, let's, um... I'll get my dex to 14, and then, so I can wield all the weapons I want. And I think I'm just gonna go do some of the, um... Actually, let, let, let me look up where this first weapon I want is. Uh, I'll be honest, uh, I'll, it's not like I need to hide it. It's gonna be the Claymore. So... I'll just look that up really quick because I love how I researched all of this literally before starting this run and video and then immediately forgot all of it. Claymore. Um, okay. Claymore is going to be in the Weeping Peninsula. So, like I said, I am counting the Weeping Peninsula as part of Limgrave because, um... Whenever you go to teleport between the grace sites, um, all Weeping Peninsula graces are in Limgrave, so I will count that. But because of the region locked, I'm not going to be leaving uh, Limgrave or Weeping Peninsula until I do everything here. Hey, you there? Could you help us out, Cully? Let's come help our uh, the goodest boy. Oh. Hi, Bach. I love Bach. You, you were some clod. You were just breaking the spell, weren't? Thank you. The name I was pushed out and the there's a goat rolling away. Okay. I ended up in oh, when they threw services all I I'll do um quest lines as I remember them, but I don't remember all of them. <laughs> I don't even think I've done them all. Uh, I, I've done so much in this game, but I don't think I've done all the quest lines. Uh, that is one of the bosses I need to do, but I'd like to get my claymore before fighting him. And he hit me because I am just awful at this game, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> um, so, like I said, there's no need for me to be like, uh, what is what's the word? No need for me to be coy with what weapons I'm going to be using. Um, I plan on using a, a the claymore, dual heavy long swords, and I think the pike for my spear. And I'm gonna get another kite shield other than this one. But um, yeah, that's where we're on our way. We'll go to the Weeping Peninsula down here first, get the Claymore, let's in Castle Morn, and start doing some of the dungeons. In most of these areas, I'm going to try and do all the side content before I beat the uh, like main Remembrance boss, and that will be. Um, like the penultimate fight of the area before I can go to the next region. Also, if you didn't see, I started with a golden seed keepsake just so I can have an extra flask. I still have a blue flask for some reason because I haven't switched that, but hey, who cares? I mean, I care. It would have saved me multiple times in that tree sentinel fight, but you know. We're just going to ignore that. Let's just do some sick dodging. Grab some of these smithing stones. Um, another nice thing about the region locked is it will force me to go to all the mines and, and eventually get all of the uh, bell bearings, the smithing stone bell bearings, uh, because I will need them considering I'm going to be have I'm going to have like four different weapons I'll be using. Hello. I don't know what ending I'm doing, so I'll, I'll take to her. Arena, the servants I'll talk to Arena. But I swear, my good father decided to miss. I hear servants. We've since come by fear at least. Yeah, this is just going to be long-form content, unedited. Thank you. Then please. So, if anyone father. likes seeing a full playthrough <laughs> with very minimal editing, feel free to watch. I'm probably going to be focusing on this run a lot, playing a lot of it, just because I'm really in the mood to be playing Elden Ring right now, and so let's dodge this, guys. Uh, well, let me finish my one thought first. I, uh, 
Uh, I'm really in the mood to play Elden Ring, so I'll be playing a lot of this run, which means there'll probably be very quick upload schedule. Either that, or it's going to be extremely sporadic, and I'm going to forget. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know why I'm stopping to get this stuff. Don't question it. I just like to grab everything because I'm a loot goblin. Okay. Again, that's another one. Um, let's check something really quick. Uh, does this... This does count the Weeping Peninsula as a separate um, thing. So... But it also counts Stormvale as its own separate, which is part of Limgrave. Because I, I'll show you guys what I mean with the whole... I would I would have gotten a region-locked mod that forcibly locks them if I could, but I couldn't find one. There probably is one, but I don't see them. But if we come here... Uh, I know this says Limgrave and then Weeping Peninsula down here, but um, up at the top here... This region itself is Limgrave, and all of the Weeping Peninsula stuff is under Limgrave right here. And that, so that's why I'm counting it as one region. Now, if anyone disagrees, I'm more than fine with doing another region-locked run and uh, counting Limgrave as its own separate thing uh, from the Weeping Peninsula. But just for the sake of this run... Yeah, it, it's my own rules that I'm imposing. I, I get, I'm, I'm saying that these are the same region. <laughs> They're my rules. <laughs> Let's just grab some more of these golden seeds. You know, the stuff you do at the beginning of every run. Grabbing golden seeds, sacred tears. You know, that actually is interesting, because normally my run, my run through is to grab all the golden seeds and sacred tears down here in Weeping Peninsula, because there's quite a few. Uh, so if you did end up counting it as its own region and did a region locked run, you'd have to go through Limgrave um, without any of that, which could be interesting, actually. It should just be two. Oh, I thought it was going to be two. Uh, fully charged. But there, we're good. I don't even need to go for the uh, visceral. I can just finish him off. So... Um, I do know you can get the Lord Sworn Great Sword early as well, and I think its stats are technically better than the Claymores. Okay, so uh, what I was saying, um, I know you can get the Lord Sworn Great Sword earlier, and I think its stats are technically better than the Claymores. But it also looks way fancier than the Claymore, and as this is a John Elden Ring build, we're going as unfancy as possible. So, <laughs> that's why I'm going with the Claymore. Technically, I actually should probably go with Bastard Sword. Um, but I uh, honestly forget where that is, and I'm pretty sure it's like, okay, this is going well. And it's also a lot worse than those two, so I'm not going with the Bastard Sword. Yeah, that, that, that dog fight went well. Okay, I should, you know, probably use the shield I have, because it's great against dogs. Having a shield in general. And great, okay. Note to self, don't spam R1 when you're against dogs and trying to commentate at the same time when you're not used to that. And just don't spam R1 against dogs. It doesn't seem to work out well. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll i be honest. I've, I'm have i just a little out of practice in Elden Ring because, I mean, my most recent build and run through was I just did one and it was the uh, using the iron balls, which were just OP as hell. So it's not like I had to learn any boss fight. I just spanned heavy attacks and they all staggered and then died. <laughs> which is another reason why it's fun to do this very basic build. Um, get me back into the swing of things and ready for the DLC, which I'm so hyped for.
Okay. Three dogs. Love it. I was hoping only one of them would see me. Okay, that was one of the sloppiest fights I've ever done. I've done some sloppy fights. Okay, I believe Claymore is up and into this area, so let's just start slaughtering these misbegotten. I was hoping to stun them both a little bit more, but that's fine. Um, and as I was talking earlier, I plan on doing some more challenge runs after this one. This isn't that much of a challenge run, it's just region locked, which isn't too bad, but, um, I'll do some full actual challenge runs. And one of the ideas I plan on doing is, of course, the rune level one, but I do want to do a uh, no death and a no hit run. Um, I did those in Dark Souls 3. But that was a while ago. Okay, let's draw this guy up. Should be able to kill him before this guy pushes. Yep. Ah, yes, just panic roll. That worked out so well for me. Okay. I'm wanting to draw this guy away. Okay, there. Okay, that's dealt with. Yep, that's gonna shield break me, but that's fine. And he's dealt with. Okay, and up past these piles is where it should lead me to, um... Up here, I believe, is where the claymore is. Is he, ch he is chasing me, okay. Poke, stab, stab. Okay. Now, the Ash of War went for the Claymore. I'm not going to be able to get for a while. It's, um, it is in the Red Main Castle all the way in Kaled, which is the... Yep, there's the Claymore. Red Main Castle is going to be the third region I go to because I'm going to go in order of, like, level expected, um level, so Lyernia would be the second area. You know, I actually don't know what's down here because I don't think I have ever um, come here first. I, I, I think I always just ignore um, the Claymore's building there, so I never go through here. Ow. It's some really sloppy fights. Which I've said basically since starting this run. So, you know, good on me. <laughs> ah, it's not like I'm here to impress anyone. I'm just out here to have fun. Now, rune level one, that's there to impress everyone. Yeah, um, where am I? Yeah, I've never come this way, so I'm just going to, uh... Since I'm at l very low health, I'll just ignore this area. Goodbye. It, it is crazy to me, just like... E even in my current runs, there's still places I'm finding that I just never went to before. 
That's why I also think the region locked run here is going to be fun. Stuck in an area until you kill all the bosses. Um. Okay, I didn't wake up Pumpkinhead. Okay. We're just going to run to the other Grace. Just so I have it. I don't think I'm going to complete Castle Morn here right now. I'll go do some of the other dungeons and stuff, but might as well get the grace. That was uh, risky. Going for that heavy attack there. But I want to kill him because he had golden eyes. Okay, it should just... Let's be careful here because these guys might arrow me. And I think one arrow is going to end me. Okay. Yeah, see, those were close. Okay. We'll do this. I should be able to upgrade strength to 16 so I can one-hand the... Uh... Yep. Now I can one-hand my claim. Yeah, that's nice. It's a very basic weapon. Good for this build. Let's, um... Ash of War. I can only do quality. Okay. Because I don't have lines... Okay, yeah. I, I can't change it to heavy right now. That's fine. So, yeah. I know I'm counting Weeping Peninsula down here as Limgrave, but, um... I'm going to actually go to main part Limgrave up here and just start doing some of these dungeons, getting some of these bosses out of the way. I'll just start with some of the basic dungeons, the first watchdog. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The best wife who's here. I forgot she'd be here right now. Ah, do work, Ronnie. I am the witch, I'd heard tell, and upon the talk, I art possess core for... Ah, I wasn't sure my torrent... Okay. Okay. I'll continue what I was going to say. Uh, I'm not going to be using any um, uh, spirit summons. Not because I'm not one of those people who's going to like, oh, you're not a true gamer if you use spirit summons to get through this. It's part of the game. It's there to be used. I don't care. I just prefer not to use them for myself. And that's it. Plus, like I said, this is a, like, mini challenge run, so cha why not challenge myself even more and not use them? Okay. I want to get a different kite shield other than this, but, I mean, this is 100% physical absorption, right? Yeah. It's not too bad of one, and it's very basic, so it kind of fits the build. I also know what armor I'm going to eventually get. Um, where is he? He's right here. Okay, but he's just faster than me. That makes sense. Oh, and because I have a shield, I get to use guard counters, which I, like, never use, because... I never use shields. Uh, but I'm going to end up getting the um, the John Elden Ring armor. I'm going to get the uh, Raging Wolf set. But that's a ways away because that's... Like, I, I could go get it, like, basically right now because, of course, I could get up into the Altus Plateau by getting the two lift keys really easily. Um... I uh, do Raya's quest really quick to get to Volcano Manor and then do the, the uh, cheese the NPC invasions. But, again, this is a region locked run, so I won't be doing any of that. It's one of the fun parts of this is like, yeah, I could go and get all that stuff right now. Or I could challenge myself and just stick to doing this. Uh, I'm a little slow here. I'm also fat rolling. 
You know, that kind of makes sense. Oh, also, if you didn't see, this is my face. Very, very basic. <laughs> this is the face of John Elden Ring. I was really hoping you guys would fall down before that. Yeah, this is not going well. Because I decided to fight all four at once, basically. And... Okay. Yeah, that, that, that went well. Oh, there's five of them. I fought all five at once. Okay. Okay. Well, that's dealt with. Uh, I don't even know why I'm... Uh, I'm not going to full clear every dungeon like this. I don't know why I'm doing this one. But I am going to at least get the bosses of everything. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a great time to find out I'm fat rolling that <laughs> in the middle of uh, trying to get past. I pressed the parry button instead of the block button. I am a mess. Ah, that's fun. That's fine. Hey, maybe it'll lead to better content. <laughs> Again, I really don't care about that. I'm just here to have fun. Yeah, go ahead and chase me. Who cares? Me, when I die to you in two seconds. But <laughs> we're going to ignore I said that. Oh, wow. I almost... <laughs> I almost made that come true. Okay. Let's come here. Let's also get my new flask. And make them all. Because I'm not going to be using any of that. Okay. Now I don't need this on my hotbar. And let's continue on. That was a good roll. Again, great roll. Oh. I'm going to be honest, I did not think that hit me. Okay, then. Yeah, you know, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Everyone dies to that enemy, right? <laughs> I swear, I'm usually better than this. It's got to be, like, performance anxiety. <laughs> nah, I'm just... I just kid. I'm just... I I mean, yeah, usually I'm better at this, but, I mean, I'm messing up. What, what else is there to say? <laughs> I'm also trying to use the Lion's Claw Ash of War, which I'm honestly not a big fan of and never use, but... That's just an excuse. <laughs> There's more of what I was expecting. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes really shit. <laughs> I 
that's basically it. And I'm just not playing the best. It happens. What else is there to say, right? And I, I didn't whip that. I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, my philosophy with these games um, uh, is usually just, you know, try to take it too seriously. Don't let yourself get tilted or upset. You're supposed to have fun, right? Getting getting pissed at the game and, and really angry and all that. It's kind of counterintuitive to that, so I just try and, try and stay chill. If I mess up, hey, that's on me. I messed up. Something I act I really love about these games, honestly, is if I if I mess up, I know it's it's me who messed up most of the time. Like yeah, sometimes there's some bullshit hitboxes or encounters, but usually if you die, it's because you fucked up. Yeah, this is a great boss. Real boss, that one. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of run to the bosses and stuff I remember in Lumgrave, and then once I don't remember any of them is when I'll start looking at the checklist to see who I've missed. I'm going to have to do both of the Everjails. I usually, uh... I mean, I'm going to have to do a lot of fights that I usually don't do. Which, I mean, that's... That's part of the reason I'm doing this. That's... It's actually... It's fun to do that. To go and do the stuff you usually don't. Um... For now, I'm going to go do the mine so I can upgrade my Claymore a little bit. Because I should have what... <laughs> Uh, enough to get a... Oh, I have way more smithing stone ones than I expected. I thought I had two. Maybe three in my inventory, not five. <laughs> so yeah, once I finish this mine, I mean, uh, it should be most uh, the smithing stone ones I need to claim more at least. I should be able to get to plus three. I'll do the mine, go get a gill over there. You know, maybe I'll grab the twin blade. Maybe that'll be one of the weapons I use as well. One of my uh, main ideas for this build, uh, like I said, it's the, it's the John Elden Ring build. But um, I, I had two ideas I could do for that. Either I could do the most, you know, common build that a lot of newcomers or just everyone used at the start uh, of Elden Ring. Or I could do just what seems to be a very basic build. And... Um, my, I'll explain what I how I see the differences between that. The common build that everyone used would be something like uh, Intelligence Scaling Moonveil, or uh, Rivers of Blood, or Radon's Great Swords. And, again, I'm not here to shit on anyone for using those. They're good builds. Use what you want and have fun. That's all this game's about. Gaming should be fun. It's not elitist or, hey, nah, you can't do that because it's cheesing it. Fuck that. Have fun. But, um... My main reason for not doing those builds, personally, is I've done all of those builds already in, in one run or another, other than the Radon uh, build. So, I've kind of already done them myself. So, I didn't want to do them again. Uh, so, that was really my main reason for not doing that. And so, instead, I went with the most basic build. What seems like the most basic weaponry. It's just some stuff that doesn't stand out and use that. So that's that's kind of my idea around this build and the weapons I'm using. But yeah, if anyone tries to tell you that you didn't beat the game right or you didn't play it or you're not good enough because you used one of those other like meta builds I mentioned, they can go, they can go fuck themselves, honestly. it It's so stupid. You, you buy, 
how how is someone else gonna dictate how you play a single player game? That you paid <laughs> that you paid for with your own money. They don't get to say how how you play your game. It's bullshit. You beat it just like them. They're just they, they can be pissy for all they care. Those builds are just as just as real as any other build. And I love the From Software games. I love the community for the most part. But those types of people are the people I dislike about this community. Because, like, no, you're going to have fun. Play how you want. Who cares? Who cares if you use the Mimic tier and uh, Radon's Great Swords and deleted everyone? You had fun. You beat the game. That's all that matters. Who cares if you did a magic build with Comet Azure and uh, the infinite FP flask. As long as you had fun, that's all that matters. I'm just of the opinion I'm happy people played these games and enjoyed it. I'm happy Elden Ring was as popular as it is. Like, that, 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 that's really all there is to it. I'm happy that it got popular, that people enjoyed it. And if you're pissed that your game's mainstream, well, honestly, who cares? You should be happy that developers are getting their game mainstream, that pe more people are coming to it and getting to experience what's awesome. Sorry, I whole long tangent on... That, but it's just something I'm passionate about. I love these games, and I want people to enjoy them in any way they do. And I mean, like, honestly, I don't understand uh, this next part I'm about to say, but again, I kind of feel the same way with it. If you're going to play single player, and you're not going to, like, do the PvP and stuff, then who cares if you also, like, mod the game? to get, like, a super strong great sword to get through and play it. Like, yeah, that's not how the developers expect you to play the game. And it's not fully the way that, like, most people play it. But, like, it's a single-player game. If they played the game and enjoyed it that way, good for them. I don't do that. But I'm not going to shit on someone else for playing a game they bought the way they want. And I think it's stupid and gatekeepy to do that. Like I said, do I understand that part? I don't, but hey, I don't have to understand something to accept it. And also, like... It could also be something like, hey, maybe someone has, like, a disability or something, and that's the only way that they can, like, fully get through the game, but they still want to experience it. Who are we to tell them no? They bought it. Anyways, I think I'm getting off track. We're coming through here. We got most of the stuff we need for, uh, smithing stones and upgrades. I'll grab the, uh, somber shard down here. Even though I don't think I'm going to be using a single somber weapon this game, this run through, but hey, I'll grab it anyways. <laughs> um, I think this will take me over 12, or I'm already over 12, so yeah, no, I'm way over 12. I, that's what I thought. Okay, yeah, I can get this up to plus three already. I don't remember if there are any smithing stone, any more smithing stone twos. I, I think there are up on a uh, actually on like storm hill where the uh giants can break or the trolls can break the statue that was just bad on my part i was gonna be honest i'm not the biggest fan of the uh poke on the great sword here yeah because i like to fight these guys I like to fight these guys with charged 
are twos uh, to their ankles without locking on. And so, like... That was just bad. You know, like, you can go for, um... Jumping attacks, too, and I think that's easier for the play more. But I like to... I like to charge R2, those guys' ankles. And, um... Not be locked on. And the poke is a little harder to hit not locked on. And again, that just kind of preference and also does kind of come down to a skill issue. If I just aimed the poke better, it wouldn't be a problem. But uh, for PvP, if I already, I'd prefer the Claymore, definitely. Or like NPC invader type enemies, I'd prefer the poke. But, um,. For a lot of the enemies that I like to charge R2s on, I do think I prefer, like, the sweeping attack of other great swords. Anyways, if anyone doesn't know, because some people uh, haven't seen this, uh, if you come back to this where you grab that first smithing stone, you can just... Uh, you don't need a blacksmith. You can upgrade your uh, weapon yourself. Uh, only up to plus three, but, I mean, it's still an upgrade. Because I'm going to end up using it, I might as well upgrade the longsword once as well. I think I'm going to switch off of Lion's Claw really early. Just because I know a lot of people love it, and it can be a really OP Ash of War. It's just not my favorite. I mean, to be fair, strength builds are a little out of what I play usually anyways. It depends. Like, in Dark Souls 3, for example, uh, using Vort's Great Hammer with the Frostbite and Strength Build is one of my favorite builds in the game. I love it. It's so fun. But in Elden Ring, and, in, and just in general, I usually prefer a little bit faster weapons, and specifically, like, dual-wield builds. That's why I'm doing dual-wield longswords on this build, too. Uh, just as a little spoiler, <laughs> uh, it's because I like them. And so if I'm, like, fighting a boss that I don't think the other two weapons are good at or I'm just having trouble with with the build, I'll switch to my dual great swords or to my dual long swords. Anyways, let's come kill Agil. Hit his head there. Oh. Didn't expect to miss that uh, first poke. I tend to not go for the viscerals on those because uh, you can usually get... Ah, I should have known that would hit me. This one's going to definitely hit me. Um, because you can usually get more damage out if you just hit their head because it's a weak spot that takes more damage. Yeah, that missed. Ride Torrent to the... That's the right, I think. I don't remember. I'm bad with directions. I'm here to play game good. Not think... Not, uh, think about direction. Ow. And that's not even right. I'm not here to play game good. I'm here to play a game. <laughs> Semi-okay, basically. Okay, you should go for his, uh, fire breath. Oh, I didn't get my first speed boost, so I almost got hit by that. I should be able to go for a charged. I'm gonna be honest. I expected that to break his guard. I guess I've just been missing a lot of those. I haven't been aggressive enough. But yeah, as I was saying, as long as you have the stamina and you just wail on their weak points, you can usually get a little bit more damage than if you were to go for the visceral. Though the Visceral is safer, and especially if you can get a couple hits and then do the Visceral, that's even better. Okay, uh, honestly, let's just look at, uh, our little checklist right here. We got the, yep, yeah, box, the mat, yeah, okay. Oh, I honestly forgot Patches was considered a boss. <laughs> I, mean, I forgot this many bosses were in Limgrave. Limgrave is so packed full. I, I love it, though. 
let's come over here, do this invasion, and go fight uh, Patches, and then the, um, is it the, is it the, uh, duelist that's at the end of this cave? All the way at the end? I don't think it's the duelist. I don't remember who it is, though. But there's a cave all the way at the end of here, too. We'll get invaded, have Yura help us, and then fight Patches. Yeah, uh, my first two playthroughs, I actually never looked left here, so I didn't even know Patches was right there. Um... Now, I do have to be careful, because he can do a decent amount of damage at the start here, especially with his um, projectile. I actually thought that still hit him, even if he... If it isn't Narius, the bloody finger, the end is Ooh, mine. that's some lag. You. And your sister. Okay. Now our friend should help, and this is so much easier. Okay. That's dealt with. But yeah, I never even looked over here, so I didn't know about this. I didn't know Patches was here. I knew Patches was in the game, because I just figured he'd be anyways. But I never found him, and I was just like, huh, I wonder where Patches is. And, like, my third playthrough, I looked left there instead of just going to the end. And I was like, oh. There he is. <laughs> I have a thing about having stuff be on even numbers, so I'll just put a point of endurance there. Plus, I'll need high endurance if I'm going to be having multiple weapons that I switch between. And again, like I said before, I'm not... I don't know why I came down here. I don't really care about, um, full completing, uh, dungeons. I'm honestly surprised none of those hit me. Um, but I am going to be fighting all the bosses because of the region locked rules I'm using. Oh, no boss. That's weird. There's no boss here. Well, well, well. <laughs> just help yourself to a man's personal wow. Belonging. Great joke, right? You I mean, yeah, that's the pinnacle of comedy. The gods demand repentance. Cough up your coins. All of it. Ow. Patches, you hurt. Can you imagine me walking to the fire and dying there? That'd be funny. Wait, wait, please. I surrender. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll let you live. Well, finally come round, have you? <laughs> you look just peachy after that, Patches. <laughs> Covered in blood. Uh huh. Yeah. Such an innocent mistake. <laughs> patches. I I love patches. I love these in all the games. Okay. Let's return to the entrance, then we'll go to the other dungeon at the end. Is it the mat? Is it the duelist at the end of that one? I. I can't remember. I remember when the duelist you do fight in Limgrave, though, gave you the battle hammer as a, a, as a reward. And honestly, I wish it still did. I, I honestly preferred real early on when some of those dungeons gave you cool items like that as a reward. But now it's just like you go into the crypts for glove, glove war uh, to, for your ashes and you go into the mines for smithing stones. And that's really all that matters. I love Yara too. Honestly, I wouldn't mind his armor for this build. I mean, the armor I have, I have, or I'm going to get, is also good. Thank you. But he has some pretty cool armor. But yeah, I preferred back 
uh, with those original ones where like you got um, weapons and stuff from the fights. I thought it was, I thought it was a lot more interesting. You had more reason to go in. Like I like the dungeons. I, I do feel that they're kind of samey. It has that same problem of Bloodborne's catacombs. But I, I overall like them. I just wish that you had more of a reason to go in them, especially on repeat, repeat playthroughs. Because um, you get, like, no souls from... Uh... Come on, you use your words. You get, like, no souls from uh, the bosses. And then on top of that, ow. Yeah, no, this is, um, this is, is this a burial watchdog? I really don't remember what's on here. But you get no souls. You don't really get the greatest items. It is the duelist. I was right. Now, for an enemy like this that has a really quick recovery time, I'll just go for the Visceral. Yeah, I ran out of stamina. Let's drink this. He's gonna rage, but... I should break his guard soon. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it is the duelist. I was right. <laughs> um, but I remember when you fought him and you got his hammer as a weapon, which was just a lot cooler. And especially if you're not doing... You're not going to do any summons. Getting them from the dungeons just isn't as cool. Especially because a lot of them don't have great summons. A lot of the summons are, like, not the best. I, ju I just wish there was a little bit more incentive to go down into them. I think that would do well. Um, that was rude. This is, uh, such a great fight. Just angling. The reason I'm looking down like that is just to angle my uh, poke down. Okay. Um, let's go help out Bach. Ah, this is another weird thing. Is uh, I usually run to Liriarnia right away to get the lantern, so I have a light on my hip, but can't do that with our the region lock rules I'm using so we have to go through these dark ass uh, dungeons without that for now I could get a torch but eh, I don't really care enough Okay. And just a couple, uh... Yeah, that's what, that's what I mean. I'm not the best at, uh, landing those pokes. Anyways, those guys are just weak to getting staggered and then killed. It's nothing, no, nothing new to learn, really. Unless you're a newbie to the game, which if you are, hey, welcome. Thanks for watching. Ah, oh, it is almost time for me to end this video, actually. Or at least this episode, this recording session, whatever I'm going to be calling these, I don't know. Okay, in here. Because for some reason I always run right past that and then have to double back. 
and never find the entrance to this cave because my good boy my friend don't worry i will avenge you i hope so i might fail at avenging you Okay. Let's drink this. Okay, yeah, I should be able to get them. I, I forgot just how easily staggered the chiefs are, so I was just like, maybe I'll mess this up. But, I mean, I, I still there's still plenty of time to mess it up. Also, like, half the time I fight this chief, he gets stuck. Right, right where he is. Which is always funny when it happens. Okay, he didn't this time. Okay, yeah, and I also had plenty of uh, poise to be able to hyper armor through those. Oh, yeah, you give up. Well, you hurt Bach, so I don't care. Yeah, let's go through here and get the dragon communion grace too. Ah, oh, nice lag. Okay, let's just come up here. I don't care. Wake up. Scream at me. Okay. Well, this was another fun build I did. The dragon build where you just use like, the dragon communion stuff. It's just... I, it's one thing I love about Elden Ring. There are so many fun builds and so many... Uh, really unique weapons compared... To, I mean, all of the Dark Souls games have had unique weapons, but this one has, like, an even larger amount. Let's go give Bach his stuff. And that might be where I'm ending it. Oh, this has gone on for an hour already. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, you got it. Here you go, my friend. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, okay. It, 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 it's all right. We all stare in space sometimes. So I always thank you very. I always wanted to. Okay. Well, that's uh, nine bosses down. That is about half of the Limgrave bosses dealt with. You know what? We will actually end this off. On one more boss. Let's go get the Crucible Knight dealt with. And I'm going to try and deal with him using a, uh, a method that I like to use, but, um, I mean, why am I being coy again? <laughs> I have a bad habit of that. I'm going to try and parry him to death, which I love to do, but I never do it with a kite shield. So let's see if I can do that. It'll also let me grab this golden seed up here and bonfire. And I can get to Storm Hill and get some of those other plus twos to hopefully level up my great... S no, can't level up my great sword anymore anyways because um, I don't have access to any blacksmith. So never mind. I I'll grab those still, but... Okay. Let's go down here to the Crucible Knight. I'm surprised I didn't activate the wolves while running there. You 
Yeah, I like to deal with the Crucible Knights through parrying. Um, I've learned their moveset other than that pretty well, I think, but mostly because my first playthrough, I uh, spent like two hours fighting this guy and trying to perfect his moveset because I would not give up. <laughs> but uh, I also hadn't fought a Crucible Knight in a long time. Yeah, like you can see right there, I just got thwackened. Yep, I went for a double heal there and tried to parry. Okay, yeah, kite shields are not the greatest for parrying. I mean, it's also just a skill issue. I just need to be better at parrying. Like, see? Kite Shield's doing fine. I was just messing up. Okay, um, let's do a heavy attack for wake up because he's going to do that. drink. Yeah, he's gonna punish that. I knew it. I shouldn't have drank that close to him. I messed up that parry. Okay, the catch shield's not as bad as I thought. I just need to remember his parry windows. And, you know, not get caught in every attack and heal right in front of him when he always does the heal punish. <laughs> okay. Let's go once more. Beat this guy up. Or get beat up. One or the other. I didn't mean to jump there. Yeah, that was just that was just poor play right there. Jumped when I should have dodged because I was had in my mind, oh, he's probably going to stomp. You should jump and didn't pay attention to the actual tells. Dodged backwards when he did do the stomp, which is a roll catch. And, yeah, it was just a mess up. It happens. Oh. Oh, two messed up parries right there. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
I should back up. He's gonna do... Oh, he stopped moving fast. I shouldn't go for just parries too. I should also, you know, just thwack him. And you're gonna do the fly up. I dodged that way too early. Go for a single heal, but not a second. Should be able to hit him on his wake up. Oh, perfect timing because that gives me a heal window. Again, good heal window. Just didn't react to that fast enough. Gotta be careful, because he could go for the double tail attack. You're really enjoying that attack right now. Yeah, this one. Oh my. Can you kind of stop that, please? Kindly. Ah, finally, an attack I can parry. Okay. Well, there he is. Unless I somehow miss his next attack and he kills me. Nope. <laughs> he was just spamming his, uh, flying attack there. Didn't want me to get a window. Okay. Well, he's dead. And it was some nice parry practice with the kite shield, so... Anyways, like I said, I'm gonna be doing a lot of this gonna complete uh end this on a nice 10 thanks for watching and um yeah see you in the next episode or video or you know whatever <laughs>